Hey everybody. So you're looking at some leftovers from the recent HP laptop that came to me with uh, graphics issues. Well, it's because the LVDS cable was a little loose because the lid was barely even still intact on the laptop because like five screws, the brass inserts were completely loose from the plastic because all oh, the plastic broke cheap HP garbage consumer grade laptop design and I'll show y'all something else with this thing I should mention the owner is extremely happy now with their Dell laptop so you can see all this mess right in there that's where like five or so or four brass inserts used to go most of them are still intact over here but uh get this out of the way I want to show y'all something on the motherboard in this piece of crap I mean this thing really is bad but I might be able to pull the motherboard out of this and perhaps make me some kind of TV box out of it Look at this. That cheap metal. See how many times it takes to break it off there completely. Ah. Just trying to get this blast the thing open. So you see how difficult it is to actually move that by hand. It's it involves quite a bit of uh, force. So how, in the in the minds of Hewlett Packard engineers, how would they even think that something like that would hold up? It beats me. All right, so let's get into this piece of crap. All right, so here's the motherboard. All there is to it. You know something missing? Yeah, just like a, just like the X360 up there. This has no cooling fan. It has no cooling fan whatsoever. None. It has, I guess you could call it solid state cooling. So I, I reckon if it didn't have the uh, optical drive, and of course had an SSD in it, you could call it a solid state computer because that would have no moving parts. <laughs> but sometimes it's better to have moving parts. And that would apply to a CPU core. I think personally there should be a traditional heat pipe in this thing to pull the heat off that I say that modest Pentium CPU take it over here and have a fan you know uh, an air blowing thingy a, thing, a little thingy that blows air it extracts heat you know instead of just leaving it to sit there and bake in one spot I mean, they went as far as to put foam across the would-be outlet. So not only does this thing not have a cooling fan, they went out of their way to ensure this thing would just simply bake. I mean, right there is where normally air would get exhausted. That's clogged. That, that's closed up. They got this, dare we call it a dust filter, across this vent right there. So that helps to limit airflow. It's almost like HP engineered this thing to fail. I'm, I'm not kidding you guys, it's really that bad. It's like they engineered this thing to literally fail. And it failed for a different reason than overheating, but, I mean... I'm pretty sure if we were to throw some stuff at that CPU, it probably would thermal throttle after a while because, I mean, <laughs> the heat's got to go somewhere and this piece of metal can only take so much before it starts to get uh, saturated with heat. I love how they have this little fan symbol there. <laughs> what fan? And just so you know, guys, there's where the fan would be soldered to the motherboard. Well, there is no fan on this one. None. No, no fan whatsoever. 
But I guess on the flip side, if I could find a set top box big enough to fit this little motherboard in, I could use like a chipset heatsink to that would probably provide better cooling than this junk right here. So yeah, now the rest of the parts of this laptop are in the closet. I uh, got a uh, of course the LCD panel was good. Still got this memory right here. Forget how much it is. But uh, I want to say it's probably eight or four eight gigabytes, something like that. Probably a low, probably four gigabytes, considering the laptop that we're dealing with here. So if I write this up, let me show y'all something else. So you know how I just mentioned um, about putting a laptop motherboard into a set top box? Well, you're looking at the living room TV box slim. It has a laptop motherboard in it. And the system itself is built in a former Drake TV set top box. Of course, there's lots of dust because, well, that right there. The ash goes everywhere. And of course, this is really close to the wood stove, so there you have it. The good thing about this thing is the, uh, the heat sink in it can't really clog up with dust because it doesn't have the, it doesn't have really much of any fins. Well this has I believe an Intel Atom based Celeron. Yeah I know may not make sense Atom based but I think that's what they offered back then. So it has the guts of a cheap in Acer laptop from 2015. It is a uh, again a Celeron with an iGPU. Doesn't have a whole lot of power but hey it does a job for for this thing and you can see what I did is I um, I think I even have a YouTube video on this I'll have to put a card in the corner if I do but um, what I did is I, I took part of the shell of the laptop to actually make this thing here the motherboard rests on what was originally the shell of the laptop and um, you can see over there is the cooling vent. This thing actually has a cooling fan in it. So this little Celeron thing has a fan. Yeah, you know the air blowing thingy? The thing that blows air? That extracts heat? At least Acer and Gateway, at least they bothered to put that into their design. Unlike HP, <laughs> who intentionally um, omitted the fan and also clogged, um, closed up all the vents on the laptop. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, this thing here, the laptop motherboard in there is like a perfect square shape, so it, it fit right into this old set-top box. You know, I had to do was I had, had to take the daughter board. Remember I had a daughter board or something like that, and I soldered on the leads for an LED and the leads for a power button. Those buttons there, by the way, are non-functional. They're just there for looks now. But yeah, this thing, it, it stays on all the time. The fan only comes on once in a while, but hey, at least it has a fan, you know? The air blowing thingy. And the original laptop did have adequate ventilation. So yeah, guys, I felt that was worth sharing. If the uh, horrible design of the lid on this laptop wasn't bad enough, let's, all add, let's also add to the fact that it had no cooling fan and they went out of their way to make sure that this thing had no ventilation whatsoever. It's like it was designed to fail. I'm going to call it, well yes I did call it the, the uh, disposable computer in the previous video, but I'm going to say it's engineered to be disposable. Engineered to fail. That's probably what I'll put in the... Uh, thumbnail for this video. Engineered to fail. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Q Career Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. 
In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.